A manhunt's continuing for the killer of a Sydney lawyer who was gunned down in a targeted attack at a busy Bankstown cafe yesterday. Ho Le Din was a prominent member of the Vietnamese community and police are reviewing his work and background in this search for a motive. Overwhelmed by grief. Close friends of Ho Le Din came to see where their friend had been slain. The lawyer was shot at point-blank range in broad daylight at Bankstown's busy Happy Cup Cafe. Witnesses tried to save him, but he died at the scene. This was deliberate, um, this was direct, um, this was obviously targeted. The local Vietnamese community has been stunned by the murder. We just couldn't understand how this senseless murder can happen in the broad daylight of our you know, peaceful Bangsao area and, you know, and so we're a very close community. Ho Le Din had a large family and it's understood his wife and young children were overseas at the time of the killing. So he good. He helped people a lot. This is the man police want to speak to, seen on security cameras leaving the area straight after the shooting. If you don't hand yourself in, we're coming after you. We're going to hunt you down. This area was packed yesterday afternoon when Ho Le Din was shot and police are hoping video footage might offer some clues. They'll also examine the lawyer's client list to see if anyone he'd worked with had a motive for murder. He was a criminal solicitor in the sense of um, that was his business, his practice. Uh, he has a lot of clients that are engaged in organised crime and other offences. Um, so that is absolutely a line of inquiry. The lawyer had worked on high profile cases. His clients included drug dealer Philip Nguyen, who's serving 12 years behind bars for the manslaughter of police officer Bill Cruz in 2010. And police are looking at his life outside of work, including his strong anti-communist beliefs. He's a columnist in a, a, a defunct uh, a, a Vietnamese newspaper on a legal issue. A community mourns and looks for answers. Antoinette Collins, ABC News.